Hi everybody, we're here cooking again with Lisa. Hi Lisa. Hi. And Doctor, who is behind the camera. And hello, how are you Doctor? Doing great. I'm anxious to do this show. We're going to do... Uh, gnocchi with butternut squash and bacon. Gnocchi's with butternut squash and bacon. Now that's butternut squash with actual bacon. Bacon. Yep, there's bacon bits in there, um, chunks of butternut squash, and homemade potato gnocchi. Oh, beautiful. Let me ask you a question. Where does this recipe come from? Um, Tony's grandmother. Oh, okay. Elvira, she's made gnocchis since I've known her. I know. Gnocchis, <laughs> I've had them a couple. You had them, right? You're fake. Oh, I think gnocchis means in Italian something. What, what is it? Knuckles or something? Knuckles. Knuckles. What you or told me? A knot in a tree. A knot in a tree. A knot in a tree. You know, it's <laughs> funny about the Italian language. Eh? Every has a meaning. Everything has a meaning. You know what I mean? My grandma used to say the Italian is a beautiful. The Italian language is a beautiful language, which is very true. Well, let's start. Let's start. Okay, so we're gonna. If you have a real good size butternut squash, these are a little smaller. So I'm gonna use two just to show you real quick. Butternut squash. And we're gonna roast this off. So we're gonna start. We're just gonna cut the ends off real quick. There's no need to peel this. It just takes extra time. You can peel it when it comes out of the oven. Does it add extra flavor, you think? I think it, it probably does add extra flavor, but what? it's this because it's so hard, the squash is a hard squash. Yeah. So it's really hard to just, if you were to just take this and peel it, you'd, it's very right, difficult. Right, right, you know, right. And of course, when it cooks, it's very yourself. soft. And then it softens up, and then the skin comes right off easy. Boy, that's a beautiful color. And to tell you the truth, sometimes people eat this, eat this peel raw, too. Raw? Yeah. No, yep. when it's cooked. Oh. When it's cooked. Just by itself? Yep. You take the seeds out of it. Yes. Do you or no? Yes. You cook it with the seeds in it? No, I'm going to take the seeds right out with a little I see. spoon. I see. I see. I see. What's something like that cost? Uh, right now, you can get these probably, this one's this size, would so probably two for a dollar. If you get a bigger one, probably a dollar. Oh, that's piece. cheap. So, it goes a long way, especially if you've got a big family. Yep. So, so you, you could just take a spoon right here, and what I do is like a, put it on a paper towel. Less mess. Just the very bald part has the seeds in it, too. I see that. Butternut squash, very nice. And, and like, will you cut those in bigger pieces, smaller pieces, I mean? Um, after it's roasted up, I'm going to peel it. And I'm going to chunk it. it oh, in, I see. It when it comes chunks. out of the oven, you peel it. Yep. It's easier then. Mm -hmm. Is that right? I see. Yep. Very nice. There's uh, quite okay. a few pieces there. Yes. So now you're just going to take a pan. That's just your regular cooking pan, just right? Regular cookie sheet. You know, no matter what you do, you can't keep them clean. They, they, they stain, but that's okay. You know <laughs> they're clean, right? <laughs> You know they're they're used. No, oh, my on. I guess so. Seasoned, seasoned very seasoned, well. Seasoned, yeah, yeah, that's the word, seasoned. And then, oh, I forgot one here. How long do you cook this for, Lee? This is going to take probably on 350, a good 40, 45 minutes or so. Now you could use zucchini if you wanted, or no? This calls you for this. You could, but it's it's fall and the season. Oh, I see. These fall, so, of course, yeah. So of course, the right colors now. is good for Halloween and. Mm -hmm. Of course, our wonderful Cora products oh, yes. from Casa Imports. There, right, yes, Doc? That's all we use. He's our man, Johnny Fornino, Daddy. Oh, what do you call him? Uh, Johnny Casa. Oh, Johnny Casa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Respectfully that's so, right. though. And there's a Johnny in Philly, and there's one Vito. more. Vito. Vito. Don't forget Rocky, the waterfront restaurant. Yeah. Rocky taught us a lot of things. So you just drizzle the olive oil yeah. over the wonderful Cora me. olive oil. I might add. Drizzle a little olive oil. Let me on see here. that olive oil, Mummy. Let me get a smell at. I love their product. Uh, there's something about olive oil. It's very good for you too. I'm gonna sprinkle this with a little bit of salt and pepper. Pepper. And 350 in the oven it goes. Roast it off for about 45 minutes or so until 45 it's tender. minutes. Or until tender. Until it's, now did you put salt on there too? Salt and pepper. I yes. see. I missed that. Yep. Okay. So you cut your squash. You take out your seeds. You go ahead and you drizzle it with oil and you put a little salt and pepper. What's so hard about that? Uh, 45 minutes at what? 350? 350 or until tender. Okay, Lee, what's next, babe? Okay, what, what you would do prior to even the squash or maybe even earlier on because this takes a little bit of time. Yeah, our other man's here, Sean. Or, that's great. Come on, go ahead. We're going. Go. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing, Sean? So, who's that little girl? The boss. That's oh, a boss. What's her <laughs> name? Hannah. Hannah, thank you for coming and watching us, Hannah. Awesome. Go ahead, bring out the potatoes. Let's see now. So what you're going to do is I like to use, um, these are Idaho potatoes. Right, them are already cooked, right? Yes, yeah. these ones are already cooked, right. but just to show you, right. 
um, what you want to do is you want to wash them nice and clean and you want to use like a russet potato or Idaho potato yeah. because it has more starch and your gnocchis will hold together better. I see. So the potatoes are going with the gnocchis. Yes. Very good. Yes. So, so when you're making gnocchi, how many potatoes would you use for an order of gnocchi? Usually, usually if I'm going to make a, you know, a family sized bowl, mm -hmm. I'm going to use three, three potatoes mm -hmm. and then make my dough. They're already cooked, right? Well, actually, I'm just going to show you how you're going to cook them. Okay. You're going to want to wash them clean. And um, what you're going to do is you're just going to stick a knife through them when they're raw, just like that. Poke them, put them in the oven again on 350. These are going to take about an hour or so to cook. Right. Until they're, and then you can test them, make sure they're tender. Um, when they come out of the oven, you want to make sure they're cooled completely. That's why I did them ahead of time. Oh, so I see. So, so them, are, them are done. Yes, these are done. So you put them in the oven cool for an completely. hour at 350 and then come bring them out, make sure they're done and then cool them completely. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take a, take a knife here and we're just going to peel these. And they should, they should peel pretty nicely. Yeah, that's good. Let me do that. And then you go to your next step. I can do this, I think. Can Let me try that? that. I always wanted Don't to try that. Don't waste the potato. So what do you do next after that? Um, so after we do that, we're going to actually um, start, we're going to put the, this is called a ricer. Actually, right. Tony's, Tony's grandmother has one of these too. A ricer. Is that, is that? Yes. And when, what this does is. What do I do? Put these back when there? We're, we're going to put the potato right in the ricer. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So we're going to fill this up. That's gonna, called a ricer. Yep. And you got to have every bit of the potato peel off. Well, you should. I see. You should. Because well, it, it'll affect the taste. There you go. I did that one. Yeah, because you don't really want a part of the peel in there. I understand. And then when these are when these are done, what's, what this ricer does, it just makes the potato nice and fluffy. You could mash these, but yeah. this potato now you, ricer, now, you should have. So it's called a ricer. And what does it do? It actually mashes the potato? I'm going to show you what it does right now. You see this? Yeah. You squeeze like this, watch. Oh, and it, just, it turns the potatoes like into rice. Yep. There's another one. But it and just, that's done, right? It just, yep, yep. So what oh, we're look do, at that. Oh, look at that. That's pretty but cool. But you see how nice and fluffy this is. This, you know that, that do, would you track. do that to make like say home fries? Uh, you could use this to make home fries. You know, make a patty and yep. then put it in? Yeah, and that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool right there. I like that. Ricer. All these little gadgets. I never even heard of them. You know, the average cooking guy would never get this. You know, and the average dad at home would never go, uh, do you have a ricer? I'd like to buy a ricer. That's and, why you gotta uh, always... Put in a couple of those, uh, you know, you don't know. You know, you if a one. person didn't have a ricer, what would they do? Mash them? Yes. Well, I see. Yes. I see. This is a cool way of doing it. Yes. Because it really thins it out and, right? Mm -hmm. The other way is kind of lumpy and smashed. Yep. I can dig it. It just makes your gnocchi nice and fluffy. Gnocchi. Nice and fluffy. I got a quiz, uh, uh, question. Can you spell gnocchi? Can I spell gnocchi? Of course I can. Uh, G N O C C I? No. <laughs> he asked me, he didn't know. Of course that's correct. People pronounce it all different ways. Well, only. I'm hip. Gnocchi. And gnocchi. You know, the way we said was always in yaks. In, in yaki, yeah, 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 yeah. You can never figure out how the hell to say Italian things. It drives me nuts. But if you see it on a menu, somebody that doesn't know. Oh, no, you've seen Gancho or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like uh, uh, like they, like all the time, what do they say? Instead of marinade, marinara. Well, they do say marinara, you know. Uh, the Italians will say marinade, you know. Eh, who knows? Some say tomato, some say tomato. Some I don't say know. Sandwich. That's the New York. I have the sandwich over here. Well, all right, go, go. What's next? Okay, so we got a potato. Now we have our potatoes nice and fluffy because we riced them. Okay. Gonna, you're gonna take about a teaspoon of salt. Right. Put that right in there, and we're gonna take about a cup, a cup and three quarters of flour. You would never think that. Yep. Flour. Huh. We're just gonna dump it right out of there. That's there. pretty cool. Why do you use flour though? Oh, this is what holds it together. Oh. This is the part of the pasta. Oh, it is. The flour makes the pasta. Oh, we're gonna just oh I see. You're making gnocchis out of this stuff. Yes. So gnocchis is potatoes and flours and what else? And potatoes and flour. Sometimes that, people oh, put egg right in it. On. I didn't you, know instead that. Of, instead of potato, people use ricotta cheese. I didn't know that. That is absurd. And sometimes you can actually put the butternut squash right into the into the dough itself, but we're going to use it as a side. I see. It okay. Okay. You know, I didn't realize it. Yeah. Only for a lot of years when I was a kid, I never knew it was made with potatoes. I thought it was just a 
macaroni. To this very day, I thought gnocchis was macaroni of some kind, like uh, stove pipes or, you know what I mean? Or, or any of the, what, what are the other little hats or like that? Do you make hats? Yes, I can make hats with pasta You make the too. hats with potatoes? Not with, not with potato. No. This here, Charlie, is a, a fresh nutmeg. Ah, uh -huh. why gonna, nutmeg? You're going to grate it because it goes really well. Does it? I'm not too hip to all the spices and stuff that they use. Okay, so now, yeah. with clean hands, of course. Yes. You're gonna take your flour and your potatoes. And fold it all in. And you're gonna just make this so um, it all, until it all comes together, until it starts breaking away from your hands. And almost, the feel of it is almost gonna be almost like a pizza dough. I see. Now, if it's, uh, when, when you did, you did three potatoes, you knew exactly how much flour to put. Right? Uh, yeah, usually. If you do four three, potatoes, you do a little more. Is that how it goes? Yeah, you would have to add. I just take three average sized potatoes and I always use a one and three quarter cup of flour. Now, how much gnocchis would that make? Um, it probably, it just makes a good sized dish. I don't really know. Yeah, how well, it you know, pasta goes a long way. You put a little bit in the pan, but well, you got a whole bunch. And we're going to have a little bit of um, butternut squash in there, so it's going to go even further with the. You're going to add butternut squash to that? I'm going to, not to the dough oh. itself. I'm going to cook it with the gnocchi. Oh, you cook the gnocchis in a pan? Yep. I'm going to boil the gnocchi. Oh, I see. Like, like, the, like we're macaroni. Gonna, we're cooking the roasted butternut squash. In the pan. And then we're just going to put it, and we're going to put it all together in one pot dish. I see. Yeah, you know, very often they do that when they make marinade sauce and they make the, the, the pasta. Then they put the pasta right in the pan. Mm -hmm. that's with what, the, that's what yeah, do. oh, mud on. See how you gotta learn these little things because that's what the flavor is. Yep. How did you learn how to make gnocchis? Who taught you? Um, his grandmother again, Alvira. <laughs> she showed me. So we're gonna try to get Alvira on this show one time. She's 105 years old and uh, she cooks. She's just such a sweetheart and she's got great recipes. And everything with her is to feel. Well, how much you put, Alvira? Uh, you know, just so much, a little bit. You know, uh, how I think I gotta do. Like this, she's beautiful. Never the exact amount, you know what I mean? They know what they're doing. My grandma used to say, nah, Chucky, you just gotta know. Well, for those of you who don't, that's what this show's all about. A simplifying recipe. Who would have known that gnocchis was mixing uh, potatoes and flour and Salt and pepper and what else? A little bit of salt, a little bit of fresh nutmeg, and it's a per preference. And you don't use no butter, no nothing. No butter, no liquid. And that's it. And you're making like a little dough there. Yep. So now you see how it's come together. Yes, it does. Okay. Yes, it does. Look at that. Just like that. You would never think that because the potatoes have a little bit of water in mm -hmm. them, right? Yes. Hey Charlie, what do you think of our new camera person? Excellent. Listen, we don't pay pretty high wages here. We can't afford to pay. But you're gonna, we're gonna feed you She's all the gnocchis you can eat. Definitely a lot Sean's cuter daughter. than you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sean's daughter helping us out today. She's a sweetie pie. So we're gonna add a little bit of flour here on the side too. Just Her name was, again? Hannah. Hannah, come here one second. Just come over here. Come here, quickly. Why don't you look in that camera and say hello. There you are. Yeah, just say hi, good, thank you. <laughs> See, we want to get your face on TV now. It's the brand so, new camera. She's that's beautiful. Thank you, honey. Are uh, you cut them in little sections? Yeah, I'm right, So you can handle it better. Yes. I see. Yes, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Here. We, we always said, you know, sometimes that uh, you make recipes uh, and that your grandma told you or, or a neighbor or you got it out of the book and it never quite tasted the same. Why do you think that is? Well, I think when you always, I always ask like Tony's grandmother how you know how to make something and I would go step by step use the same ingredients that she told me to and it just still would not taste the same right and I never could figure that out and then finally one day it hit me you know it just it's an ingredient that's free doesn't cost you a thing it's all natural and it's just that she uses a little bit of love with everything that she does oh yeah she you know and, that's so and, true and too if you because use they that, it your meal will taste good. And everybody Let me will tell you like something. When you do it with it and you focus that, it's so true because that's what this show is about. Uh, we call it cooking with passion, but it, or passion cooking, whatever. It's not really a madness about cooking. It's just that we really love cooking. And Dr. and Lisa came up with the name uh, Passion for Cooking. And now uh, this is what it is. And it's basically 
a thing about family and a thing about simple a thing about simpleness so the average person can make whatever and get the family back together and having supper again and i think that's important that families get together and have supper we're in this country, I think the family unit is kind of dissipating all the fast food and so many people can't cook. I, 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 I've been around a long time, I can cook, but very little. Rocky taught me a lot, you taught me a lot. But I mean, I can't make a modern art sauce. I mean, I could if somebody told me, I'd say, oh yeah, oh yeah, but I'm not handy. You know, you gotta get handy. That's what we're trying to do here. That's great. So, oh, you roll them in little like sticks. Yep, so they're gonna be like little, kind of like little cigars. Yeah, so then why? And then we're gonna take them and we're just gonna cut them into little pieces, like so, just like this. I see, you make the little things. Yeah. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one more of this just to show you. I'm gonna kind of roll it out into a, like a little cigar shaped. And then when you get them little pieces, is there a little trick to that? Yes, I'm gonna show you how ah. to, to actually make it into the, the gnocchi itself. I'm just gonna cut them into a little, they, they say they're like little dumplings is what they are. And right. you, could, you could actually cook them just like this, even if you didn't wanna go the step and make them. Oh, I see. You could cook them just like this. And you could. Be, and they would still be great. I see. And what but I like to do is I like to put a little flour to make them a little easy to, to work them. with. Yeah. Now, Tony's grandmother always taught me to do them with your fingers. You, she just takes them and she goes like this. Ah, mother, this I've seen does. that before. So she just kind of. You're just rolling them. Yep. Look at rolls that. Rolls them with your finger. And you, it goes by really quick. Just take your two fingers, press. Two fingers, press. Two fingers, press. Two fingers, press. Two now, what do you do? Two fingers, press. Yep. Mine didn't come out like this. Well, I didn't you, do it and good you'll enough. Get it. You just have to kind of get your the feel of the, Ah, I seen it. You kind of just want to wrap it around. So <laughs> no, I didn't of, get that. That one I didn't do. Like Here, little, we do them too. A little too. cup. I only want you to do one And then more what, I, what I like to do is I found this little wooden board here. There it is. I did it. See? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's a Charlie Gnocchi there. Go ahead. I found this little wooden board. Okay. You get all these neat little things. I can't stand it. What is and that? It's it's just a little wooden spindle to make gnocchis with. It's a gnocchi board. Yes, and you just you take your gnocchi and you can just go like this, and you see how. It oh, makes you make the make the little lines in it. Yeah, and it just rolls down. Now, who can't do this? Look at this. Well, I'm hip. You know, and when you just have like gnocchis, that's what they look like over rascones. Yeah, just like this. But a lot of times you buy they buy them frozen, ready to go. Oh. Nobody makes them like this. I do. I know, I see that, I see that. <laughs> You're making the lines in the gnocchis. Yeah. Gnocchi now, lines. Or people, they take a fork, just the simple back of a fork, and they kind Look of- Look at that. Roll it over like that too. How did you know that was a gnocchi stick? I whatever? happened to run across it in one of my local stores. Which one? The co-op in Little Falls. Ah, a lot of people swear by that. We'll be down That's to see it for an advertisement, by the way, <laughs> on the Lisa Cooking Show. Right, Doc? Love that we'll store. We'll have to put they that on I'm the there. list. They know I'm there all the time. You know, we hear a lot about that place. Absolutely. Great awesome. people, a lot yep. of natural foods. It's, uh, let's give them a little plug. It's the Little Falls Co-op. Co yeah, Falls yeah Co I've heard many things, many good things about it. Yep. So you can use a fork, but this is my, this is like my best friend. Like That's I said, okay. you don't even need either one of these. You can use your finger. You don't even have to press them, and they'll be just as good. I see. That's great. So now, what's the next step? Now. So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one more. You want to try more. it? You want to try it? Well, yeah, I will. Let me try it while you're doing. Not a race. No, I know you gotta. Hey, with love, man. This is no rush thing. We're sprinkling this with a little love, a little tang in love over here. We're gonna we're racing to see who gets done first, me or you. Well, I'm a. They used to call me Speed Gnocchi when I was a kid. But anyway, I like doing this stuff. But I've got to be honest. I would never make gnocchis. I know. Oh, I see. I think I'll make some gnocchis tonight. It's not happening. This really isn't hard to do. You could do this. Oh, it's very simple. Well, I say simple. You know, you got to remember this stuff. You know, if you're not handy cooking, you you can't do it. You forget well, this, that. You, you have to do it in order to to learn it, and then the more you do it, the easier it gets. But you like to cook. That's I one love of the things. That's right. I you love to cook. cook. Hence, love passion cook. cooking. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take bacon. We're going to use about four slices of bacon with this one. Mm -hmm for the amount that we've got. And we're just gonna, what I'm gonna do though first is I'm gonna cut this up so it makes it a little bit easier for our sauce. We're gonna cut it up. That's just regular bacon? Just right, you know what I buy? I buy uncured bacon, and the reason being is I don't like nitrates in a lot of the food. I understand. I mean, you can't buy everything organic and you can't, you know, it, sometimes it gets a little expensive. Yeah. But the little things like nitrates, you can do without. Well, ever since you told me about nitrates, I won't eat hot dogs no more. I just won't do <laughs> it. You can buy nitrate-free hot dogs. You can, but the way they make hot dogs, I don't know. 
I'm wondering about that. So you put four pieces of bacon, you chop yep. it up nice. We're gonna chop it up nice and we're gonna put it right in our pan here. And we're gonna just render that, render the, the fat with the bacon. Will you put that on like medium high? Yes. And what do you make in there? What's that? This is sage. You sage? Ever see a sage leaf? Sage yes. Leaf? Ever smell that? Smell that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, you got, I'm not hip to all this it's sage fine. and cinnamon. I mean, cinnamon is pretty obvious, but parsley, basil, sage, all these. When do you use them? When not to use them? What they're for? Different things. You know, you got to learn that a little bit. Yep. But sage is for this dish. It's this for this dish. What does sage actually do? Flavor. flavor what kind of a flavor? Flavor. It gives it that, oh, just this flavor. Like, like not it's like, like a, not like woodsy. Almost like, like this almost like Christmas not like treat. peppermint or or like parsley. It has its own. Yes. Right. Yep. But they know that sage is for this dish, <laughs> right? Or you just use it in a lot of dishes. You can use it in a lot of different dishes. It right. goes well with this dish. Though. Oh, it does. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna have that ready to go, and I'm just gonna just kind of stir this up a little bit. Looks like our water is starting to come to a boil, so we're going to be throwing those gnocchis in there. Yeah, well, while we're uh, doing this here, you know, uh, next time we're going to do a, sh a show, we're going to do a nice simple soup. It's, what's it called, the soup we're going to do in um, one of our shows? I think we should do like a broccoli cheddar. Broccoli soup cheddar. Ball. And we're going to do that special really, really uh, gourmet grilled cheese. We can do the grilled cheese or we can do a sausage bread with it. No, no, we got to do Doc sausage yeah. bread. There's so many wonderful dishes to do. Doc, you make a sausage bread and you make that shrimp dish too. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that you showed me a picture of that on my phone the other day. That was looked wonderful. Doc's a hell of a cook also. This is a cooking family. Beautiful family. This is a cooking with uh, Doc and Lise. Lisa and Charlie, we like to call it, what do we call it? Passion cooking with Lisa. And we, we like that because Lisa's our cook and she loves to cook and we love to learn, Doc and I. Of course, Doc's a cook also. But I love to come and, and see what's new and see what we're doing and love to show the people. Go ahead, Lee, what's next? Okay, what I'm gonna do is, starting to, the bacon is starting to render a little bit. I'm gonna take the sage and kind of just put the sage in there Mix it in with the bacon and the bacon fat. Stir that in there. It's yeah, it's got yeah. a wonderful Once smell. You can start to smell the sage yeah, coming out, yeah, then you yeah. know you you got it nice and infused. Yeah. And then uh, you you let that render down a little bit. Yes. Yeah. And, and now your knockies are ready to go. Yeah. The yeah. water's boiling, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to. Throw these right in boiling water. This is a wonderful dish. Where are we at? What go. I'm going to do is I'm going to I put the garlic in there and you know saute that in there a little yeah. bit. I'm going to deglaze the pan. What do you mean deglaze? I'm just going to get all those little bits of bacon and, and little I don't want to say burnt parts, but little crispy parts off the bottom of the pan. Oh, I see. Because you don't want it to burn. Yeah. I understand. So you do that with wine. Yep, we're gonna put maybe three quarters of a cup of there. Does that, can that ever catch fire, Wayne? Well, if it hits the flame, it will. Yeah, it will? You gotta be careful. I'll call that's a nice big pan, though. My God, that smells wonderful. See, when we stir this, all those little bits come right off. Now, how long before you add your, you're gonna put your, your butternut squash right in there, right? Yep, and that, that we're gonna mix, we're gonna mix in here. After we put our gnocchi in there, then we'll fold our, our butternut squash in here. Kind of. Um, How long before that cooks off. down? Now, a few minutes. Just a yeah. A couple minutes. Just a couple minutes. Do you have to keep stirring it? No, I'm just mixing, getting all them, them, the, the crispy pieces are the most flavor. Ah. So I want to make sure I scrape all those off the bottom. Oh, I see. I see. Do you lower the heat at some point or no? You can. You can lower if you want. If it starts to get too, gets you know, yeah, starts to get yeah. away from you. Yeah. And then. So that's ready to go. When will you put that all together? Like in one minute, two well, minutes? Well, our gnocchis are cooking. I'm just going to send a spoon through here. And when these start to all float, which they're, they're almost coming to that point, you can see a couple of them are starting. And plus you're going to serve this with a salad, right? Yes, yeah, so we'll serve a little side salad. What I'm going to do is, now this is a, a butter sauce. So of course we got to add some butter. So I'm going to, or, I'm going to put in a stick of butter and melt it. That's after that stuff's rendered down a little bit though first, right? Yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Doc, you ever make these gnocchis yourself? No? Too much. 
Yeah, men don't. You know, this is a little. This is a dish for a lady. I think. Man, you know, there's a lot of guys who could cook, though. Believe me, out there, wonderful stuff. Gnocchi's here, all floated to the top. So right. You're just gonna take a slotted spoon. Slotted so spoon. You're gonna right. get a little bit of that extra water in here. That's okay because that's gonna just right. mix right in with our sauce. Yeah. Very oh, nice. In here. These gnocchis are like little pillows. Oh, you don't want to break them up. So then you spoon in your squash. We're going to put in our squash. And your butternut gonna, squash. We're just going to fold it all in nicely. Just nice and gentle. And how long will you cook that for now? Just just to combine it. Just to combine it. So ah, and then that dish is done. It's pretty much all done. Well, that's great. Wow, what a dish. I'll tell you, the right ingredients. Fresh tomatoes, fresh garlic. Nice, nice. And look at them gnocchis, mud on. Can you see that, Doc? Oh my God, look at that. Isn't that something? I'm gonna taste that. There right you now. go, here. I got a little here. spoon. Oh, another fork? Yeah. I just gotta see. My guy on Careful, that, uh, yeah, it is that, uh, that television show. What's that guy? What is it? Dyes, restaurants, and this with the sunglasses backwards. Hot. This is delicious. You know what it is? This dish reeks of help, it seems. You know what I'm saying? The gnocchis are like dumplings. Yes, they're like little miniature dumplings. Gnocchis with butternut squash and bacon. Unbelievable, very delicious. And your little salad, cooking with Lisa. Lisa, thank you. A wonderful, wonderful you dish. You forgot the last and final ingredient. She did the last time, but we... <laughs> I told him already. Yeah, dead. Oh, sure, see? You were sleeping on the couch there. We were. <laughs> Wait, I got, a, I got a little more love. No, nope, we got a little more love there. That, I'll tell you, certainly every dish here is love. We're all family. Like Doc and I are cousins, and Lisa, um, we're, we're related by marriage with them. But I mean, we're family. We've been family a long time. And Doc's family, my family, go back 100 years. Anyway, passion cooking with Lisa and Doctor. And I'm Charlie Seeley. Thanks again. Tune in next time where we're going to have another simple recipe which we're going to sprinkle with love. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Beautiful. Beautiful.